At 11, a takedown at a local high school. A school resource officer arrests a 20-year-old woman. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Police say she pulled out a gun in the car line after threatening to shoot a student. The tense moments all played out at Eustis High School. That is where News 6's Troy Campbell joins us live. So, Troy, when did all of this happen? Well, Lisa, that's a scary part in all of it. The sheriff's office says just as students were leaving for the day, the deputy saw that suspect pick up that handgun. And tonight, investigators are saying because of that school resource deputy's quick thinking, no one was harmed in all of that commotion. Followed her and watched her arm herself with a gun, and that's when he took her down. The Lake County Sheriff's Office says this video shows a school resource deputy. The moment he discovered 20-year-old Tershire Richmond in possession of a handgun outside Eustis High School after threatening to shoot a student. Investigators saying a fist fight broke out in the band room between two students just as the school day was ending. Law enforcement saying the school resource deputy was on his way to meet with the students when a witness told him Richmond had just threatened to shoot someone. Now this time other students are coming out. I mean this is right at dismissal time. So the deputy watched her and she reached into the car and pulled a firearm out of either her purse or off the seat of the glove compartment. The sheriff's office says the school resource deputy drew his gun on Richmond and forced her to the ground. Investigators saying Richmond doesn't attend the school but instead came to pick up a friend. We're just very proud of how quickly he acted and how decisively he, he acted because had he wasted any time whatsoever, she could have uh, hurt one of those students. And Lake County says that they have about 50 school resource officers uh, working this year in the district. And also investigators emphasize that they believe Richmond was only targeting that one specific student because of an ongoing dispute. And tonight she's facing several charges, including being in possession of a stolen handgun from South Carolina. And she's locked up at the Lake County Jail.